welcome back. There's a brand new business in St. Petersburg, and they say they have every Cajun and Creole ingredient you'll ever need. Yeah, especially the next time you're watching Emerald and he wants to make an etouffee and you want to try, well, Tennis reporter Virginia Johnson, and she's our Cajun uh, Creole resident as well, is <laughs> at Jay's Market investigating just how authentic those claims are, and you're giving it the taste test now, Virginia. It's really rough to have to wake up this morning and eat red beans and rice and tell you guys that it is delicious. Uh, we are at uh, Jay's Marketplace in St. Petersburg, and uh, I'm going to swallow this big chunk of sausage. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. We are joined by Jerry Scruda, and uh, he's the owner of this. And tell me a little bit about some of these sausages that you have out on the grill. I know that you said you have a customer that is going to party in uh -huh. the middle of the night uh, for the oh, game yeah. on Saturday for the Bucks. Oh, absolutely. They're going to be starting to tailgate around 2 a.m. at the house, oh, grilling out. They're going to be grilling some pork boudin. We got some crawfish sausage. And uh, we're making some jambalaya, some red beans and rice, mufaladas, everything. Now tell me, explain to people what boudin is, because sometimes I, I don't exactly know what to tell them. What's it wrapped in? It's a, it's a pork and rice dressing with a little bit of jalapeno in it to make it just real nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's excellent. And they also make boudin balls, which we sell also. Oh, it's just great stuff. So you grill it up. Mm -hmm. I even, at some, sometimes during uh, Thanksgiving, I'll sit back. I'll take the dressing out of the casing and stuff it in a turkey. Really? That's why it's got casing. Wrap it a little bit. Oh, yeah. When we were growing up, you just had to squeeze it out like this. <laughs> okay, look. Well, your parents didn't want you to do that. All right, now, there's something else here at Jay's that we want to talk to you about, too. They have some really cool spices here that are gourmet. And uh, Phil and Diane LaMarche uh, have made these spices. And uh, tell me a little bit about... Uh, what you guys have. You guys have some Italian spices and some instant, some all over spices. Yes, what we have is uh, four very wonderful spices. We have an original which I created 38 years ago. It's a very unique spice from the standpoint that it uh, goes on everything, it takes a different taste on everything, and uh, it's really the only spice that you need in your kitchen. And you have some uh, on some tomatoes just to give us a little example. Can I have one of those, Diane? Oh, yeah. Great. Little taste here, and, mm, and and if you think that's good on a tomato, you can't imagine how wonderful it tastes when you start cooking with it and can smell the aroma of these wonderful spices. Well, Phil, thank you very much for letting us eat some of your spices as well. Um, Thirty-eight years ago, made this in his kitchen. I wish I could make stuff like that in my kitchen and sell it. Back to you for now in the studio. Oh, you're a great cook, Virginia. Just one thing to clarify: when you were squeezing that sausage, that sound we heard was that you or the sausage? That was uh, the sausage. Okay, very interesting. We look forward to seeing more. Thank you, Virginia. Now, Jay's Marketplace is located in the 3600 block of 49th Street North, if you want to pop by there. Oh, yeah, you know, just imagine eating some spicy sausage or whatnot at noontime outside when it's already very hot. You know, that'll get you... Dot com. Well, do you know what tasso is or boudin? It's all Cajun food, and there's a new deli chock full of Cajun Creole offerings. 10 News reporter and our very own Cajun Creole, Virginia Johnson, joins us live from the deli. And Virginia, I normally would ask, does it taste like your mama's cooking? But I know your daddy does a lot of cooking. That's right, Heather. You remember, it does taste like my daddy's cooking because when you have all these great ingredients that you get right from Louisiana, you can really make some great stuff. I don't know that Emerald's always talking about andouille this and tasso that. Well, now is a place where you can get it on 49th Street here in St. Petersburg. Jerry Scaruda has been so nice to uh, take out some of the things that uh, he sells here. And we're making a tasso omelet. And Jerry, tell everybody what tasso is. Tasso is a Cajun smoked pork. It's spiced real heavily, but gives you some great, great flavor. And uh, we have our tasso right here. And it, it just takes a little tiny bit. Uh, you can spice an entire dish with just a couple of slices of it. We're going to make this super omelet here. Tell me what <coughs> the spices. <laughs> Ooh, what do I have in my pot? <laughs> we got a little bit of celery, onions, bell pepper. I thought you said you like it spicy. Yeah, I know. I didn't want you to kill me. Well, All right. we haven't just gotta, begun. Yeah. Everybody's got to impress the Cajun. So what do we have? We have uh, celery, bell peppers, onions. onions. All right. A little bit of Creole seasoning. You can add a little yeah. bit more if you like. We have a little bit of our Creole seasoning. Oh, yeah. Why don't we put some more in? We want to choke. Okay. How about a little bit of Phil's stuff? Yeah, we have some of our instant lot. gourmet that you guys have here. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we're going to transfer Phil. these into these two pies? Absolutely. All right. Oh, I forgot my cheese over there. Oh, yeah. We've got to have a little bit of the cheese. Got to have a little bit of cheese. Right inside that cooler <laughs> over there. Oh, well, maybe forget you the cheese. Flip it? Forget the cheese. And. All right. That looks delicious. Absolutely. All right. 
basically, that's it. All right, thank you so much. We're going to flip this over and give a little taste test. I'm a little taste, a little test right now. Go for it. All right. Oh, that's delicious. Great stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Back to you guys for now. Oh, thanks, Virginia. That looks great, and I love it. They got to impress you. They got to give you the extra, extra spicy stuff. Thank you. <laughs> She's dying over there. Jay's Marketplace is located at 3618 49th Street North in St. Petersburg. Of course, they also have a website. You see it right there, www.jaysmarketplace.com. That's the first time I've seen any Cajun uh, spice or anything cause her to wimp out at all. I know. She is tough. She is tough. And it must she be really spicy. usually do the extra spicy stuff. Yeah. So. yeah, but I hear there's spicy and then there's Cajun spicy. So mm -hmm. even if... Although you have been able, you can take quite a bit of heat though. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was kind of thinking, I'd love to be trying what she's trying right now. Yeah, if it's that spicy. Yeah, because yeah. he can eat scotch bonnet, doesn't even make him. He has that steel plated mouth though. I think that's I think what it is. Right on down, oh, so. that's amazing. So hopefully she'll bring you some of that hey, back. I'm all for that, yeah. Well, I'm going to try. Taste of her childhood this morning, right, Virginia? That's right. We're cooking something called a muffalata. Muffle what you say, we're here. Check it out. All this meat. It's going to go on all this bread with a ton of this olive salad. And when we come back, we're going to show you this one pound wonder. Yes, Stay with us. Now, baby. So there is a very strong Italian community in the heart of Cajun country. Yeah, and the Italians in New Orleans created one of the most delicious meat and cheese sandwiches ever. At least that's what 10 News reporter Virginia Johnson says. And she joins us from a new deli that makes them in Virginia. I understand you can't just find these anywhere. No, you know, I've had a really hard time finding them. I've lived up north, and now I live here in Florida. And I've really had a hard time finding this Italian slash Sicilian delicacy called the muffalata. Um, we have a pound of meat here, and it is just all going to go on our sandwich. Um, let's just take a look at all the stuff. The thing that makes it so awesome is an olive salad. And Jerry Scaruta joins us now uh, from uh, Jay's Marketplace. And uh, let's start making it, man. All right. What do we start with? You put a little bit of oil? Well, that's what I call the mayonnaise. Put a little bit of that on the bottom. All right. That's good. OK, is that enough? Absolutely. OK, and then we're going to start piling it? Start piling the What do we start with? Just anything? I'll make a little. And uh, also, while we're making this, you have special sausages flown in from a place called Poche's. Every self-respecting Cajun uh, knows that's in Brobridge, Louisiana, total Cajun land. And uh, what you have here for us, uh, Cajun, you have crawfish sausage over here. We have boudin. Um, we have andouille, tasso, all the things that Emerald would want you to use mm -hmm. in, a, in a dish, but you don't have it. And you guys are located on 49th Street in St. Peter. You're right across from the Publix. On 37th Avenue, correct. So if people wanted to uh, come by and do a little bit of grocery shopping at Publix and they could just swing by here on their way out. Absolutely. And grab some of these specialty meats that you really can't get uh, anywhere uh, in this area that we really, unless we haven't flown in ourselves. which is Correct, which is going to be a pretty expensive. So if you do it for us, it's not as expensive? Absolutely. I'm the middle man. You might as well say All right. Oh, I forgot about This is Mortadella. Is that right? Mortadella? Yeah. Oh, that was Salam. That's okay. Salam. You had Mortadella on it just a second okay. ago. Okay. And then this is our ham. You know what? This two minutes is not enough to make this sandwich. I can't believe it. But uh, <laughs> let's just throw our olive salad, which is really delicious, on the there top. You, you want, want me to go ahead and do that? Yeah, let's All do right. it real quick. All right. What we do is we do this. Oh, I not, didn't make it as good as you make yours. All right. I kind of made it like a mountain. Throw the lid on it. All right. <laughs> now we're going to cut it. <laughs> yours looks so much better. Well. But anyways, you guys, this is a muffalata. You gotta come down and taste it. It is fantastic. I'll take a little bite just for fun. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. How much meat can you put on a sandwich? It's delicious, <laughs> thanks, Jerry. You're welcome. Back to you guys. Yeah, what you don't know, that's the light version. Yeah. <laughs> that's the light version. Virginia, thank you so much. I know you can't say anything. You got your mouth full. Enjoy for all of us. I will. And it's going to be full for a long time, John. That is a that's huge a sandwich. sandwich. Sure <laughs> is. Well, Jay's Marketplace is located at 3618 49th Street North in St. Pete. They also have a website. It's www.jaysmarketplace.com. It's five minutes until seven now. Today's top news stories, plus a final check on your website.
And welcome back, everyone, as we take a look at St. Petersburg on this Friday morning. Pretty shot. Time right now, 655, 78 degrees outside. You know, Tom, if we were in Nolens this morning, Nolens. we'd probably be nibbling on uh, some beignets right That'd now. That'd be a good idea, but you don't have to go all the way to the Crescent City to satisfy those Cajun and Creole cravings. We have some here today. Russell explains. A little bit of New Orleans has made its way to St. Petersburg, Jay's Marketplace. Jerry Scaruta specializes in muffaletta sandwiches, unique deli meats and cheeses, topped off with a wonderful olive salad. That is a muffaletta. That's beautiful. Very big That's sandwich. Beautiful. How this place came to be is its own interesting story. Jerry was selling his muffaletta sandwiches at the downtown St. Pete Market at Central and Second on Saturdays. It's a seasonal thing, a farmer's market. And when the season ended... All my customers, they just started to say, hey, Jerry, open up a store. Please open up a store. So I did. So I'm here. And it's not just the sandwiches. Jerry imports all those great, hard-to-find New Orleans-style sausages. So I bring in all the boudin and the andouille, the tasso, the charisse, all that stuff you see Emerald doing on TV. Scott, where can I get some andouille and all that? I've got it. And Jay's Marketplace is about more than New Orleans-style foods. Many of those vendors he met at the downtown St. Petersburg Market are bringing their products here. You got the Marquette's pralines here. You got some great tropical like jellies, uh, salad dressings, right. you know, uh, licorice from uh, uh, Australia. And then we got great nuts from b and Nut Shop, a local person, European-style cinnamon. And uh, we got Maryland soups, great spices. So, some unique and tasty products here at Jay's Marketplace in St. Petersburg, things you are not likely to find on just any grocery store shelf. This is Russell Rhodes for Good Day Tampa Bay. Jay's Marketplace, located at 3618 49th Street North in St. Petersburg. And for more information, Give them a call at 727-528-0707 or check out the website, jaysmarketplace.com. Yeah, we've been sampling some of it this morning. Fairly tasty. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good stuff indeed. Coming up this morning, some advice to help you beat the credit cards this morning will not go hungry. What's the, what's the big deal about that for Nothing. you? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. But, but, Murph, Yo. we're taking care of you. Thank you so much. So see, there it is. Jay's Marketplace is where we are and what we are all about this morning. Lots of a beautiful food and confections and spices and stuff. We'll tell you what it's all about when we come right back. Is coming. Russell Rhodes pleases his palate today. Yeah, he's in a place that reminds him of Nolens, but he's in St. Petersburg. Hello. Hello, how are you? It's well, and uh, you? Good, thank you. It's Friday, <laughs> we made it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay's Marketplace owned by Jerry Scaruda. How you doing, Russell? I'm good, how are you? Doing real good this morning. All right, now three times I've been asked, where's the Jay and the Jerry? Jay, Jay's my son. So your name, all right, makes right. perfect sense. Makes Shorter perfect name, sense. too. Yeah. Uh, you got a few things. It, 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 we're gonna get into what the place is all about because it is, it is actually Correct. more about than what your products are, but we'll get Correct. into that later. But what have you got for us this morning? Okay, what we got here is we got some Cajun smoked salmon, some yeah, Cajun sorry, smoked Jason, shrimp. Sorry, we should have planned that, I apologize. <laughs> All right, and what I did is took some of my sausages here that I sell, like andouille and tasso, and this is a crab ravioli with a tasso and andouille oh. sauce with oh. hollandaise. Mm. And here? Yeah, this is tasso and this is andouille this from is Louisiana. And this is the, this is the, uh, the, the olive, olive salad that goes or in the our muffled salad and sandwiches. That, a few of those have been sent back to you guys. All Whoa. right. Yeah, so you're happy? So anyway, we're going to be more of all this later on here at Jay's Marketplace and meet some of the other people involved, so we'll, uh, we'll see you then, okay? Hey, okay. Russ. Hey, what? Did you know that Tasso and Undui changed their name to Simon and Garfunkel years later? Think about that. Goodbye. <laughs> see you later. You knew that was coming, didn't you? <laughs> all right, you, Howard. You the <laughs> I don't even, even I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but I can show you a nice-looking cloud. Thank you. You know, like that? There it is, see? We're looking down from the St. Pete Pier, remember? So, Tom. Yes, Russell. Does that T-shirt mean that people are going to join in for that jock strap that's, run? That's what I think, yes, by saying, count me in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is, did you say count me in? Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Is that what, is that, that's no. what you're saying. Yeah. I heard you. That's no. what you're saying. Everybody heard you say it. You don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, I do. Hey, listen, we, speaking of, um, of games, we got ultimate tailgate food. Jay's Marketplace is where we are in St. Pete. Brand new place. Stick around. We'll be right back. Right in, everybody. Tell them to do it.
you know, Good Days Russell Rhodes thinks about his visit to New Orleans all the time. You know why? Because he can't get his mind off of food. And now he's found a place uh, here at home to, to calm those cravings. Oh, hello. And it's very good because apparently they won't let me back into New Orleans. <laughs> We've heard. There was a little, there was a little incident. We understand. No One fat Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad trip. How you doing? Good. How doing about great. you? We're at a place called Jay's Marketplace, and this is Jerry Scaruta. He, he put the know, Jerry in Jay's Marketplace. Actually, Jay is your son. Jay yeah. is my son. What are you making? This is a tasso and an andouille omelet. Something a little bit different that you can do instead of, you know, red beans and rice and your gumbos. Right. Add it to your eggs. It's, all, it's universal. All these kinds of, of New Orleans-style sausages Excellent. and things like that you have here. Everything. I've got crawfish sausage, I've got boudin, I've got charisse, alligator sausage, andouille, you name it. We're going to get into more about all that later, but we've got Phil Lamarche here and Mark Matheny because they are, you all met through a farmer's market in, in uh, downtown St. Pete. That's correct, Pete. yes. And uh, you've, you're selling your wares here now. What have you got? I've got four very exciting spices. I have an original. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's all right. I have an original that I created 38 years ago. There's an Italian blend here, a, a Jamaican jerk, and a, uh, and a chili. The chili won six chili championships in Texas, and it's just wow. outstanding. Hey, Mark, come over here. What, what, and you're Mark Matheny. This is? Uh, these are our pralines. This is our own recipe of uh, Cajun pralines. We also have Cajun icebox cookies, which is a pecan shortbread cookie. And uh, we make four variations of fudge, but the New Orleans is the icebox and the uh, Prawlings. It's our own original recipe. Cool. Thank you. Thank you all for coming in. We're going to talk more about all this later on, but when we come back in a couple of minutes, Brian, the intern, it's his last day. He's headed off to Houston to, for American Idol auditions. Oh. Needs a little help from you guys in picking his song. Oh, really? Truly. So happy we're going to be help. happy to. I'm sure you will. That's okay. what we're going to be doing in a couple of minutes. All right. All right. Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ. It'll be fun. And coming up next, the newest must-haves for every home improvement. One more time from uh, Jay's Marketplace talking about this place. And Brian, the in intern, it's his last day. He's auditioning <laughs> for American Idol. We'll be helping him pick his song. I can't get this over with quickly enough. We will be right back. John Wilson, Kelly Ray. Back to Russell's now at Jay's Marketplace in St. Petersburg. Hey. Hey, with Brian, the intern. And guess what we're going to do today? Tell us, tell Retire us. Retire intern number 42. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be my, retired. Brian Klein Schmidt, yeah. been the intern all summer long, going to Houston Sunday? Yeah, leaving Sunday, the audition's on uh, Wednesday. For American Idol. American Idol. All right. Um, is that what you're wearing? Yeah, you guys like the outfit or <laughs> we switch Very the outfit nice. up? Well, that's what yep. the kids are all wearing. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. All right, let's, let's just jump right in. You, you yeah. auditioned last year and you got a long way up. I made it pretty far last year and hopefully I'll make it even further this year. So. Yeah. Are you going to use a salt shaker when you Yeah, audition? he's going to use the pepper it's mill. It's actually pepper. It's actually pepper. Okay. All right, now, how did they time you? How much time do you have? Uh, 30 seconds. So you guys going to be the judge. Who's going to be Paula back there, Bill? <laughs> yeah. Fine. Paula. Yeah, I'll be signed. Okay. Fine. All right. Hit it. Every night I hope and pray a dream lover will come my way. A girl to hold in my arms who knows the magic of her charm because I want a girl just to call my own. I want a dream lover Woo. so I don't have to dream alone. Stop. 26, 26, 26 seconds. seconds. Nicely done. All right, that's the first song. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you like it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Get, say this. Get, or hit the other one. I'd like this to dedicate this to Tom. <laughs> oh, no. I know your eyes Perfect. in the morning sun. <laughs> And I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. <laughs> and the moments that you wander far from me. I want to feel you in my arms again. Uh -oh. And you come to me on a summer <laughs> breeze. You keep me warm in your love and you softly leave. And is it me you need to show? How deep, deep is, is your, your love? love? Yes. Nicely done. Very, very, very good. Very good. All right, you guys pick up. I got to vote for number, number two. One, number two. Number one, number two. Number two. Uh, number two. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> number one. Number two. Number one. Oh, gosh. I just had to do All that. Right. All right. No, we'll number two. We'll go with number two. Everybody go. I, 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 I tend to do agree. Number two. two. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. do two and see how it goes. All Stay tuned. Right. Oh, and he's going to do next week. He's going to do some. We'll do some boners with him next week when he's in Houston because he's going to camp out with all the kids and do the thing, you know. You know, I think he could do your job quite well. Uh oh. You know what? Hey, Murph. Murph. That sounds Murph. great. You can have it. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, see you. we'll see you guys in a little while. More from Jay's Marketplace. All right. Bye. You. Thank Good you, luck. Russell. He wants to someday do something like yeah. Russell does. All right. This morning, we're sending golden wishes to a very... Mm -mm 
Mm -mm, Look at this. That, that should hold us till uh, 10. At least. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go back to Russell at Jay's Marketplace who sent us all these goodies. Yes, they did. Brought it over early this morning. Brian seems to do it like to do impersonations of Russell. Right. Well, th th then there's that, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <laughs> well, I think he's got you down. He's worn me down. I'll tell you that for one day. Hey, we came by Jay's Marketplace yesterday to see what the place is all about. Take a look. A little bit of New Orleans has made its way to St. Petersburg. Jay's Marketplace. Jerry Scaruta specializes in muffaletta sandwiches. Unique deli meats and cheeses topped off with a wonderful olive salad. That is a muffaletta. That's beautiful. Very big That's sandwich. Beautiful. How this place came to be is its own interesting story. Jerry was selling his muffaletta sandwiches at the downtown St. Pete Market at Central and Second on Saturdays. It's a seasonal thing, a farmer's market. And when the season ended... All my customers, they just started and say, hey, Jerry, open up a store. Please open up a store. So I did. So I'm here. And it's not just the sandwiches. Jerry imports all those great, hard-to-find New Orleans-style sausages. So I bring in all the boudin and the andouille, the tasso, the charisse, all that stuff you see Emerald doing on TV. Scott, where can I get some andouille and all that? I've got it. And Jay's Marketplace is about more than New Orleans-style foods. Many of those vendors he met at the downtown St. Petersburg Market are bringing their products here. You got the Marquette's Prawlings here. You got some great tropical, like, jellies, uh, salad dressings, right. you know, uh, licorice from uh, uh, Australia. And then we got great nuts from B&W Nut Shop, a local person, European style cinnamon. And uh, we got Maryland soups, great spices. So, some unique and tasty products here at Jay's Marketplace in St. Petersburg. Things you are not likely to find on just any grocery store shelf. with a lot of garlic. And we'll tell you that Jay's Marketplace is at 3618 49th Street North in St. Pete, 727-528-0707. The number of call for information. Website is jaysmarketplace.com. Tom. Pretty cool, don't you think? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nice food, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can't wait nice, to dig in. Nice, nice place. All right. Really and truly, it's been a fun summer. Take care of yourself. I better be nice since we're on TV. Good, good luck. Thank you so good much. Good luck next week in Houston. Let us know how it goes. Thank you really will. will call in. Let us I will. Know. I will. All right. Good Thank kid. You. He's a good kid. Good family. Good sure people. Sure is. All right. What else? That's it. Weekend. Let's time. eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are those little headaches working? <laughs> yeah, a little, a little, my kingdom for an Arutus right there. You guys be good. We'll uh, right. see you next, we'll see see you next week. Bye. See you later. See you, Russ. <laughs> I wonder if you can do singing in the rain. Probably. Yeah. You're probably going to need it. Take a look at Sky Track because I'm going to show you singing in the rain. There it is. If you're in McDill, if you're heading across the bay, uh, if you're uh, anywhere in South Tampa, you could be getting wet within the next few minutes if you're not already getting wet. And that's going to be the pattern. Good morning, welcome to Daytime. I'm Deborah Shrill. And I'm Brian Fasula. Welcome to the Tuesday edition here, the 14th of October. Can you believe it there, Deborah Shrills? The, the month is just flying by. It's a good thing, though, that it's Tuesday because, of course, it's, it's not only my favorite day, but also if we run out of tablecloths, we can just take your shirt off and use yours. How, how'd we know that was <laughs> going to take place? How'd we know that? You'd just be glad that I didn't match these blues or any of these other colors with those color pants because then, they, oh. then I'd really look like... Uh, you look like you were going golfing. That's right. <laughs> I wish I was going golfing. It's raining outside in downtown Tampa the first time in a long time. Allow me so, to submit to you, young lady. Does does this mean the cool weather's coming in after it? Doesn't that sometimes mean that? Very good, Brian. That's very good. In <laughs> the you. winter time or fall, that's correct. Actually, we are going to get a little, a little taste of fall starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, the high is only supposed to be 82 degrees. We're going to see drier air moving. It's going to be very comfortable. And I don't know if you remember this, but I said by October 15th, we should have our first real front. What's today's date? Uh, October 14th. And tomorrow, the front's coming in. Woohoo! By the 15th. I wish we would play that tape. That? Boy, I, I did. I wish I had that on tape. It is on tape. Yeah, you read it in the Farmer's Almanac. How about, uh, did you guys see the news today? I, I saw this in the news, but, but immediately it makes me think that of all the guys out there who have told their wives that they go to Hooters for the chicken wings. Seriously, honey, I like the chicken wings. And Things now, are changing. It's all going down the tubes <laughs> because apparently now you can buy Hooters chicken wings 
in the grocery store so they don't have to go out and see those women in the orange and brown. Can I ask you this? Why orange and brown? They, you know, these guys, they were like the Clearwater Six, you know? These, like, this, is a, this was national news that it, this came down. They're based in Clearwater. Of course, their first store was out there on Gulf to Bay. Now they're all over the country. They got racing teams. They got all kinds of stuff. It's really amazing how successful that little small place in Clearwater, and I went there when it was, that was the only place there was, was that one little small right. place in Clearwater. And I, I have to admit, you know, orange and brown waitresses aside, I love their wings. Well, you're a gator. You should be able to handle that obnoxious orange color. <laughs> but not mixed with brown. But yeah, the, but, and, and you know, the, the, the guys always bring, you know, you always, you always see guys, they're bringing their kids because the waitresses love the kids and they gather around the table. Oh, isn't little Johnny well, cute? And then they get all the attention. I went there one time with my lovely wife and there was a guy there with his one-year-old and they were celebrating his one-year-old's birthday party and all the girls were happy, happy birthday. That's so typical. Yep. That happens Lovely. all the time. The so, guys bring their babies so there. So now they're going to sell the actual wings and chicken strips in the supermarket. So they're going to sell chicken. They have chicken strips oh, too without the bones? They have delicious chicken strips. I've never had the chicken strips without the bones. Did you like how animated I said that? Delicious. <laughs> oh, but honey, they're delicious chicken strips. <laughs> well, that's it. Their, uh, their cover's there's, totally there's, blown. There's the big uh, food news for today. What else there, Shrills? Well, we want to tell you about a, a little uh, a special announcement That's that right. we have because uh, speaking of kids and restaurants, <laughs> um, we're going to start doing something that's called catering to kids. And basically what it is is, you know, you have a hard time finding kid-friendly restaurants. Mm -hmm. So if you know about a great kid-friendly restaurant in the area, Email me at dshrills, that's with one L, at wfla.com. Tell us about it. And then in the month of November, we're going to check them all out and let you guys know about it. At the end of the month, we're going to tell you some of our favorites. Kid-friendly restaurants. Catering to Excellent. kids. Excellent. Awesome. Comes right off the Hooters story. What is today there, Shrills? <laughs> it is our Fat Tuesday. <laughs> and you know what? Every single thing in our show today is about food. There's no non-food aspects about our show, which is the best type of Fat Tuesday, isn't it? I think so, young lady. Chef John Lewis is here today, of course, as he is every Tuesday. But today he's in a slightly different capacity. Oh, but John, tell why. I don't have to work today other than moderate or mediate or maybe separate the two competing chefs. Now, we've got chefs with us this week, Deborah and Brian, that are from, that are going to participate Friday night in the third annual Battle of the Bay Culinary Competition at the St. Pete Coliseum this Friday night. Benefits the St. Pete Museum of History. And these two guys are going to battle it out with secret ingredients right on the show. So we'll see who's, who's the top chef today. Wow, live, that sounds like fun. Live on set today. Yeah, it's we're doing like it all. an Iron wow. Chef right yeah. here in the daytime Iron Chef kitchen. Cool. And of course, Larry Good Eats is here today. And he's going to give us a taste of what the Seminole Gaming Casino, also known as the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the brand new place out in the uh, Indian Reservation, and they're going to talk about food. And I really want to go there. I haven't been there yet. It's like getting invited to the VIP opening. Larry got it. You get to see it. It's going to be fun stuff. Plus, it's new to the Bay Area. We're going to introduce you to Blue Bell ice cream and show you how to make key lime pie the Blue Bell way. Don't tell me, Deborah. Just don't tell me there's going to be a gal here dressed as the little Blue Bell gal, is there? Oh, yeah. She's the Blue Bell country girl. I love the Blue Bell country girl. And that ice cream is very very tasty. Looking, very tasty. Looking forward to that. And Deborah, we always ask that question: if uh, if blondes have more fun, or do they just get a bad rap? Deborah, well, can you gonna... accurately answer that question? <laughs> Depends how long it's been since you've been to the old hairstylist, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we're going to show you that you can be blonde and still be a whiz in the kitchen just like me, despite all the jokes. Excellent. Well done. Well, Shrills, it was what was coming off an awesome, and I say awesome, Columbus Day for my family. Today we're focusing on another big holiday. It's just for the folks up in New Orleans, and we have an authentic Cajun cook that is our Spotlight guest. Well, that's right, Brian. It's four months and ten days from the big celebration in the Big Easy. Fat Tuesday, as they call it, always falls on the Tuesday that is 46 days before Easter and always the day before Ash Wednesday, which is the start of Lent from beads to booze and from jazz to blues. The celebration draws people from around the world to sample the South's finest cuisine. And so Brian is sampling it now in our Cajun kitchen. Brian, 
what's yeah, going on over there? buddy, we've got Jerry making the fun Cajun creation from Jay's Marketplace out in Pinellas County. And Jerry, this is a beautiful setup here, Thank but you. New Orleans is the place, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. It's the best place to eat. That in New York. Excellent. Love it. Love now, it. You worked at the, at the actual Central Grocery, Correct. which sits right there by Jack's Brewery. Correct. Right uh, on the, Decatur. Decatur Street, exactly. Right not too far from the market. And yeah. what are we creating today? What I'm going to go ahead and do, of course, the mufalata sandwich we'll make in just a few minutes. But what I've got here, I did a traditional, what I did is I took like egg sardo is one of the famous um, breakfast dishes in Brennan's. Mm -hmm. But I did a little different style here, so I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. Brennan's? They did the Folger switch at Brennan's. I saw yeah, that the bananas foster and all that. Yes, oh, yes. good stuff. All right, so Very we're doing stuff. this first? Right, so what I want you to right. do is I'm going to go ahead and take some cream spinach. Cream spinach. Okay, you know, you know, slather that right on there. Lovely. Okay. Look at the, the nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah, love it. Then I want you to take some lump crab meat, pile that on there a little bit. So this is like a uh, right. like a Benedict, but New Orleans style. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Now what you want to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and take this poached egg and put that on top. But of course. Now all the this stuff will be on TBO.com, so you're just oh, enjoying this for fun right now. I know I can yeah, do this. Get that. It's in. always get good to put your in. hand in boiling water. Yeah. Why not? All right. Boom right on. Now what you do is I, there's a I take a hollandaise sauce and I do it a little different. All what right. I do with that is like all the meats that I sell at the store, like some tasso here. You know, I sell on Dewey, everything, boudin. And what I did is I took a chive and tasso hollandaise sauce. And what you do is you go ahead and pour that right on top. Chive and tasso hollandaise sauce. Correct. Wow. Gives it a little zip, a lot of flavor. I know Larry was trying some of the tasso. He loved it. Oh, that's good. So that there's is... little pieces of andouille in here? No, tasso and chive. All right. Oh, oh man. And then what you do is you go ahead and take a little bit of that parsley over there and just sprinkle it around. Dribble it around. Here. No, use your fingers. Oh, a little, oh too, a little too much. Should have used my fingers. No problem, no problem. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and so, make you a mufalata. Wait, what did you call this? Egg Sardo J Jerry's Way. <laughs> Why don't we call Sardo it that way? Jerry's Way. Oh, yeah. Man, that smells good. No, it's a little the heavy crab. on the parsley. I would recommend to go a little bit. Yeah, a little sprinkle, a little bit around. But with the crab and the spinach and the, the tassel hande sauce, it's, it's a perfect marriage. Wonderful. Now, this sandwich is 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 world famous out of that little French quarter. Some out of call Central it Grocery. Mufaletta. Some call it, what to explain? It's, actually, it's called a mufalata. Right. Now, the Cajuns call it a muffalata. And then regular everybody else, we call it a muffaletta. So, whatever you want to call it. There you but go. I'm going to go ahead and make this over here. Real quick, let me slide this stuff out. Certainly. Okay, what I do, go ahead and I've already cut this here. Make me you know, time consuming. Does this bread have a name or is this just the move? It's Italian of bread. bread. I call it muff bread. But here, I'll show you how All to right. do this. What I want to do, I'm going to let you go ahead and do this. Take a little bit of the seasoned oil. Just take a little bit of the well, oil. Well, this has it. holes in the bottom. Well, it'll get there. There you go. And just kind of dribble it? Bingo. That's cool. That's All right. plenty. All right. And then just start piling on. Well, we're not going to use this oh, stuff? Yes, just you the are. oil? Oh, yes, you are. You're going to use everything. Right, so a little Swiss cheese. Correct. Yeah, spread it out. I love this music. Oh, yeah. All right. Put everything salon. on there. Just spread it around. That's a full pound like, of meat and cheese. Like dealing cards here. Exactly. All right. All right, so then you put some ham. Ham. So tell us the, uh, the story with this. The, is it a Cajun sandwich? Well, well, no, it's pure Italian. You got the po' boy and you got the mufalata, but the mufalata is pure Sicilian. Sicilian it's the only Sicilian sandwich in the French Quarter. Because most of the other right. food is, is French inspired. Right, exactly. Except okay, that shrimp clean. on a stick they have at the yeah. Takey Audi. Yeah. Boy, that's divine. They got all sorts of stuff over there. All right, so that's bologna with a now, little extra fat in it. What do you call yeah, that? That's stuff? mortadella. 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 More Italian. Very, very good. Then what you go ahead and do, now you go ahead and take the salad. Spread that on top, let a little bit of the oil, just spoon it on there. So this is yeah, almost now, like, okay, now, yeah, do this. This is like a tapenade almost. You crush well, it up a little bit. Well, you, you want to go ahead and what put the salad. Just my, my drop it. Yeah, put it on there. <laughs> That's living right there, man. Okay. Put a little bit more if you want. All right. All right, now we'll go ahead and we put the lid on it. Like so. We'll take the knife and we cut it up. That's it. No, oh, it's excellent our sauce. Well, which, which olives are those? I use three different types. I use manzanellas, I use calamatas, I use stuffed queens, capers, carrots, everything. Fantastic. And that's your finished product right here. 
Wow, so now this is this is the quarter from the quarter. Look at that, that looks delicious. Cool. Well, as we said, you can find all the recipes on tbo.com and you click on daytime. Jerry from Jay's Marketplace. Yeah, people can go to my website, jaysmarketplace.com, and you can pick up all the authentic sausages like we have here, the crawfish boudin. Wonderful. Alligator pork, everything. Also, you, that's the address where you can find them and the phone number on your screen. Man, you are too cool. Thank Thanks. you so much. We'll bring you, you back best. in about four months and 10 days. Sounds good. Excellent. Up Sounds next, our own Battle of the Bay competition. This place is going to be en fuego in two minutes and two seconds, maybe a little bit longer. We'll be right back.